okay so let's get started in this video we will do a little demo of uh, how to work with Lana and uh, monorepo so for what we will do is first we will install Lana globally I mean if it is already there then it's good and what we will do is we will create a root project that will have all the auth service card service checkout service or front-end application it's a demo so you can take any example of any setup let's say a simple hospital setup where we have a patient service doctor service and scheduler service or maybe a uber eats clone app where we are going to build three different uh, services inside a monorepo and let's see how they sit together inside one monorepo and what all different commands we can execute through Lana because Lana is creating all these packages inside it so wait for a few seconds and we will just see uh, our packages created in the demo and then we can just do it's a globally we are installing Lana and then we can do Lana in it or you can do npx Lana in it if you don't want it to install Lana globally then you can use the npx command uh, without installing any module globally so let's see npx larna or we already installed larna larna in it and and we also want to do a install so it has created larna.json right and these are the packages and now there is only larna this is the root package right and the workspace is saying whatever you are putting inside the packages that will become a part of workspace this is the root package root json and package log json now we will start adding the the modules inside it so what we can do is we can do a larna create command larna create uh, user auth let's say it will ask you different options okay the package name is user auth version is fine and lib user auth.js we are good and yes similarly you can create another uh, packages also order and the cart okay now you can see inside packages we can see now these three things can exist as a three different microservices okay they can be a independent microservices and because this is a typescript project so what we will do we will start adding the the remaining stuff inside this like the ts config right because it's a typescript project and we are going to build things so let's add a ts config to the root project psconfig.json it's a common js all the spec and tests and uh, we can also update the package.json script larna and let's say we can add a dev dependencies larna so we'll add a couple of more things so as a dev dependency because this is the typescript project npm install minus minus save dev types node and typescript okay that will give whatever we need for now okay so we have larna typescript and then we can add a script inside our package.json which will just say okay uh, i want to build this package so we can add a script tag scripts and publish or whatever for now publish and we can do is a larna run these are the all the larna commands which will start with larna run because this command i wanted to execute in all the packages okay if you see the card there should be a package.json and we have a script test so we need to reconfigure each and every module so after this we will go into individual packages 
let's say I'm inside a user auth. Okay, here I need to create a tsconfig.json. And tsconfig will extend the, the base config which is already there. So this is the TS config which we have defined already outside. So you don't need to redefine everything. We can copy this TS config to all the uh, packages, cart, because all these are TypeScript projects. TypeScript, TypeScript microservices, Node.js TypeScript. Okay, and we can go to these package.json. They have a couple of things inside script. Now we can add a TSC command also. Now you can see the, the dependencies, they don't have many dependencies, right? Because they are going to use, we are going to run all the command at the root project. So you don't need to install node types, node and TypeScript at each and every project. We'll just add the scripts to all the packages. Start order and user auth. Okay, this is the first thing and uh, we'll add a simple logic to each and every or ts file i was expecting this to be a ts file but that is fine what we will do is we'll rename it to ts and we'll add uh, some simple logic inside these uh, different different files so what what all things we have we have packages inside the packages we have these dependencies and we will add some files let's say cart we will create a source folder we don't need to worry about lib because we are using source as a main file because lib is the output directory source.card.ts okay so if you see the package.json or oh, sorry tsconfig it is going to read source and it is going to generate lib as output directory so all the output we are we are going to generate inside the lib so we'll just create a source folder everywhere so this is order.ts and this is source folder again here we will put user auth dot ts and we will just put some simple code inside this we already have cart let's see the code we can write inside this a simple hello world function You can write simple classes. Okay, inside card first, src card.ts export class start, and we'll define one method get id, which will just return id. This is for card and similarly for order we can do this is order class and this is user auth class okay i mean just a different functions just a dummy code we have added in all the libraries and now we can start executing the commands i mean if i'm executing the larna command in the root project what will happen npm run publish let's say npm run publish it should execute larna run test command test uh, command and there is a script error inside one of our uh, package inside order package.json yes that is correct have to fix that first invalid json 
so it is executing running target tsc for three projects so everything is good and you can see larna is now powered by nx they are telling it explicitly to use it so we executed T, uh, tsc which is a build command because we have a ts config and based on that they have created this order.js order.ts because it's compiled and based on ts config it has generated this lib output directory which we can actually expose from one project to another project now the another important part is how we are putting the the package names this is package okay so before we go ahead uh, into the deep first we need to understand the larna latest changes because once nx took over the larna and larna 6.0 is really different than what we had earlier in larna 4.0 earlier if you see the old blogs and uh, the medium blogs and even my own content i used to run the commands to define the dependency of uh, two different modules let's say we have these packages order cart user auth if user auth is if you want to add a dependency of user auth in the cart and order what we will do is we will we will write a command lana add uh, the package name in uh, scope equal to the target package means user auth package i want to define as a dependency inside a cart and order but now this lana has deprecated that if you see the this bootstrap mechanism while running larna in it it configures the npm workspace i mean currently we in our current project we are using npm workspace and if we are using npm workspace then the the old system of dependency management dependency management means because this is the the beauty of larna that when you are putting things inside packages you can interlink them the library can be dependent on the react app react app react uh, reusable packages can be dependent on another library and you can interlink them but there at that time when we had this larna bootstrap com command there was no native workspace solution now we have nx pnpm npm workspace so this is going to be deprecated in v7 so we'll stop using it earlier uh now if you see our larna json you can see it's use workspace true and version right this is the the actually the major difference and it's using because it's using now the pnpm workspace and now the the big difference is if you want to define the dependency of user auth in order and cart what you will do i was surprised to see this change you just need to do something like this user auth star and even in the cart if you want to define the dependency you will just put star right now user auth package can be used in cart and order now what we will do is we will just then uh, do the command build command currently it is doing only build lana run tsc so it's doing the build of cart first user auth then it is building the cart and the order service i mean it's it's really nice earlier i was not good with those commands lana add and you need to define the scope to link one package into another package now these all are part of the workspace so they can be used they can be imported directly like this there are other beautiful features has been added i mean you can use this uh, graph dependency also if you want to see how the dependency really looks like oh so i will try to show you all projects and you can see cart uh, and order are both dependent on the user auth project right so active proximity what else we can see okay i mean this is just a filter so here you can actually see the all the dependencies whatever we have defined okay if you look into more documentation this is how you can run the test Lana run test if the test script is defined everywhere because i think test is everywhere we can do one test command i mean this lana command is something which is running on all the packages lana run test now if i do npm run test what it will do is going to execute the test everywhere and now those are failing obviously 
I haven't written anything. Right now, coming to the dependency part, I will just do npm run publish. Coming to the dependency part, user auth, what it contains, simple user auth uh, class. How do I import it? After you define the dependencies like this, star, you can start using it. Let's say I will import this, like something like this, user auth. I can add this inside order also. There is no error, right? Because it's same workspace and you can import it like this. But this is really a totally separate project. And you can execute the test and everything. Now, this is NPM workspace. Now, you can add the caching and all also. Like if you wanted to cache the execution result of a particular Lana command, that can be done like test. Uh, and it actually will cache the results and it will create an x.json cacheable operations a lot of other things there is a dependencies like let's say lana run test scope header right so the header project the second time the operation will be instant uh, because we are caching the tests using caching configuration rest all are like how we do the target dependencies you can also that the build of this project depends on the build of another project so you can define that in the annex.json publishing you can just use this command lana publish no private so if i just do this command because we are right now we are not publishing it lana and tsc and it comes with the publish command also so first it should build using npm run t lana run tsc then there is a command lana publish currently i don't have the configurations of it in the repository obviously i need to do some commits so that it can create tag and then it can publish that right currently i have all the nothing is committed everything is in the staging okay so it's a little bit of uh, how we define the dependencies inter and interlink the packages if you look into the old medium blogs and all all will give you the wrong information even my old tutorial is now deprecated because now we are using lana 6.x and that is totally different now it is using the workspaces it uses the pnpm npm workspace or the yarn workspace whatever the package manager you are using if I, here i'm using npm so it's using npm workspace if i'm using pnpm because there are three package managers we have in javascript npm pnpm and uh, yarn all are package managers which are installing the dependencies here i'm using npm so it is using npm workspace here okay so this is a small demo we are going to use it i'm using 4.x in my github repository i will upgrade it to 6.0 and we'll start using the, the microservices